Alright, good morning. I'm Afrin Crypto Warlord. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are enjoying the free signals, if that's what we will call them. And please like and subscribe, man, because uh, I'm doing this for fun. It helps me track my daily trades, my, my daily thoughts. I just need to make one. I need to see my VRE levels. And from there, I'm out. So, the last two days, we've been making observations on our five-day VRE levels. Okay, and this is why I have to show you the significance of these VRE levels and our Shannon Entropy, right? So what we have here is we have Shannon Entropy that's now done its expansion to the downside, right? And the slope has changed, so it's still negatively it's still negatively correlated, but it's starting to lose its significance to the downside. Okay, so its negative returns are decreasing, which means they get smaller, right? So what we're going to see here is this five-day candle, which closes in three hours and sixteen. Three days and 16 hours. We're going to see this one just carry on with its drag. All right. As soon as this is done. Um, as soon as this is done with its drag. These three indicators here. So we have our candles. We have our Shannon entropy. And we have our Pearson correlation. Our Shannon is more than likely going to base or wick off to our monthly VRE mean. Which we'll zoom in on. There's a yellow, there's a yellow level down here. Okay. Once that happens. We'll be close enough. To start printing a new uh, five day okay so this is going to drag out for a little longer we have made this observation before if it goes red it's going to break this previous candle if it goes red if this goes red it's going to break this previous candle in order to see if it's still contracting we will know if this candle just lifts up above this previous open and then this will go green and then that will naturally push it back up again but in this moment this is that that the, this is when volatility is ebbing and flowing and stops and is ready to flip the book and push on up, okay, or push on down. But in this case, I'm guessing up because this hasn't been denied its opportunity through the volatility wave, okay. So this is still going 100% according to plan. This is our pullback. We're looking to long somewhere here when we're going to go look at our daily mean to see if there's enough volatility to get us there and then we're going to go long. Okay, so we have a three-day. So what is our three-day going to tell us? So our five-day we know is going perfectly to plan. Our three-day is expanding to the downside. We have one day and 16 hours left. That can push us through. You'll see. I'll just flicker the VRE level on and off. You'll see it come on somewhere here. This is the region we're trying to get to, where my mouse pointer is. Okay, as a safety mechanism. We keep on saying safety mechanism. Price action feels most comfortable being at the safety mechanism in order for it to make up its mind and carry on with the trend up or down. Okay, so our safety mechanism, let me just mark the price out because I don't give a shit about price. I just trade the lines, to be honest. Um, and when your indicators and oscillators are that good, you don't have to care about price or news or anything like that because I can look at these things and tell you when the best time is for bullish news to get released in order for it to have the continuation they think it would have. Okay, so this is a completely different game when it comes to this stuff. So we have, uh, let's look at 36.38. So 0 0.3638 is where we're looking for our overall trend management point. Okay, we're trending up here. That's what this is. There's more up than there is down. So for us to come here, this can manage this whole structure that we've been trying to break out of here can be managed at this point. Okay, so I'm going to be putting quite a lot um, uh, on this, on a lot of waiting on this analysis. Okay, so we're carrying on through. We're coming into a VRE level. Would be nice if I could have got into this earlier contraction, positively co correlated. That's going to add more drag. Okay, 24 hour. I'm going to try and make this simple, quick, and precise. That's more drag to the downside, to our VRE monthly mean. Okay. Remember, we called we called this, we, we watched it break down on yesterday's video. So we knew that it's coming into these regions. I will say, though, I am a little, I'm a little shocked that on the first candle down, it broke through this green one. Right. And that's as we started the stream, it started to break through it. I was sort of thinking with enough volatility expanding through the box, maybe we can bounce off this region, get denied at a mean reversion, and then push back down to the monthly level. Okay, so here is uh, expansion to the downside. That's what's pushed us down. Now we're going to be contracting negatively correlated. So within the next six hours, maybe we have touched this level, 3, 6, 3, 
six. Is that what it says? Literally, it's three six three six. That's our monthly mean, man. Okay. So six hours looking to tick back up. Three hours pumping down, down, pumping down, my guy, pumping down. Ninety minutes. Also, 90 minutes starting to lose its correlation to the downside here. Still significantly negatively correlated, so the next candle's going to drag. That's going to help us eye out that six hour that's looking for this mean level over here. Our monthly mean. Very important level. We break this thing, guys, I'll catch you at 15 cents. That's how I look at it. Expansion, more expansion to the downside coming in on the 45 minute, even though it does look pitched. We can see it's just started its, uh, it's just started its piercing correlation mean reversion point, and there's still some more expansion happening on our Shannon. That means we're going to expand price action, expand to the downside. Where's our downside target? Our monthly mean. Okay, we're going to throw it up on the 30 minute. So I say, with the, all this volatility that's coming off, it would be stupid for us not to see this range, at least in today. And once we've smoked this range, if the bulls can come back in, you're going to see them get nailed by our new weekly mean up here. So any price action that comes off of this is still going to be scuffed by this. It's going to be very hard. Okay, they can break through the weekly mean. They're going to hit our daily mean. It's going to be scuffed. We're close enough to touch the monthly mean. Let's go and touch the monthly mean. Once we've done so, it's a lot easier to base higher time frame indicators off of and start pushing them again for mean reversion to the upside. With a move like this, we'll be looking for like hidden bullish divergence, okay? Or bullish div that's come through the books and the, the teeter tata volatility to make sure that it's maybe caught. You'll see where it uh, half fast mean reverts over here. That is what we're experiencing. It's come through, it's broken, and then it's going to be pushed straight back up like that. It's not going to have this full wave all the way down and carry on with its, with its trend, okay? Let's just go like that, get rid of all that. That's cool. So that's on the 30 minute. We're coming back up to pick up onto these VRE levels. Man, given that we've had so much downward volatility, I personally feel safe down here too, too, too long. Otherwise, we're just going to be waiting the whole fucking day for this thing to eventually come here. Okay, so I'm not going to have any trades in the box until I start getting into this region here. Otherwise, I'm just going to get chopped up in this region. I have no reason to be chopped up from here to here. Okay. I'm waiting for my outlier points. If I can see we can break through here, well, sick, man. That's way lower than my previous monthly mean that I pointed out yesterday. Way lower. So that's a good buy price for me, at least, if I was to see continuation to the upside. But I see a new weekly print. We're below the weekly mint and the, the, the print. And that is what we're coming to base off of. Okay. So if we break through any of these regions, let's just put some further targets on the outside here. Um, let me make big, big, big. Okay. So these are our first two targets from here. Um, there is a lot of downside pressure because I would say there's still more downside pressure to come because we're waiting for our five-day Pearson correlation to mean revert as well as it expanding red. Okay, so that this is a good two and a half days worth of price action messing around in a monthly and a weekly range. Could easily get us through the next two days. Okay, so from this point, you're looking for your first scalp to the upside at 1.8. Um, if volatility starts to tick a bit harder to the downside, you'll look to sell just below this line. Get out of my way. You look to sell just below this line and make sure you get continuation through to 1.4. Okay, so it seems like it's pretty balanced to the upside and to the downside right now. This is center mean or something like that. Okay, back to our five day. We're literally, today's job is, uh, well, the next three days job is worth monitoring our mean reversion on our monthly mean if we haven't hit that thing we're gonna come back to it hey, we're gonna come back to it eventually one day and very 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 shortly so i hope this is helpful that is our ranges that we posted up earlier i'm gonna go put it on the 15 minute just so we can see what's happening here and see if we're gonna get nailed over so there we're still breaking below we open below this has to push so you need like three candle closes above this very level and then we can push into this one two candle closes above that very level then we're going to push into this one okay there's a lot of top side um something like this to hit here that's gonna put in a bearish div to the downside okay something like this that will help us build a bullish div over here and something like this 
will help us put in a hidden bullish div somewhere down there. So that is my initial targets, and that is the first one to be scalped. So we're making blue. So I like to, you guys know how I like to operate this, and we'll do it like that. So their first, their second, their third, and then from there, which will be 3 o'clock this afternoon, things will have made their mind up for either continuation to the downside or to the upside. And that's when we'll go look for bullish trend um, or bearish trend on the 4-hour, the 6-hour. Let's put it on the 6-hour and the 12-hour. The 12-hour, 12-hour has got a lot of work to, to be put in and put around and turn around. Okay, there you go. So our next phase is contraction was well, negatively correlated and that's going to float us up. Ideally, I need to see us at 3636 for safety. Otherwise, this has to me been front run. Doesn't matter the price action that comes out of here. We're coming back to this mean sometime in the future before the end of the month. Okay, if we haven't touched it today. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was entertaining. Please smash the like and subscribe button. And you're more than welcome to meet one of my little guys called capuchin monkey i hope you guys have a good day ciao bella